Today I'll be talking about some of the different ways you can navigate through the Ad Center desktop. When you open desktop, it will be in the last account that you have been in, so you need to make sure that you go and change the user to make sure that you're in the right account. So you'll enter your username, the password, and it will verify credentials. Once this comes up, you'll see that you've got different tabs at the top, campaigns, ad groups, text ads, mobile ads, and keywords. This is an overall snapshot of the entire account that you're in. Once you go over to the left hand side and expand the tool and you go back to campaigns, you'll see that you've got all of them listed out. One of the great features of this editor is that you can also download um, stats. You can do it anywhere from today all the way to a custom date range. It will go ahead and fill in all of the metrics. Right now, this is actually looking at um, the campaign level, so I can see my spend, my CTR, impressions, average position, conversions. And then what you can do is actually get more granular with it. So you've got your ad groups now. It will also fill in the same data for the time frame that you've chosen up in the download stats area. And it'll give you all of the metrics on a more granular level. The nice thing is that we can use the editor for bulk uploads and downloads. If you go to multiple changes, make sure that you change the button to the second choice. Most of our spreadsheets are already going to have these different um, columns. So in this editor, you need to make sure that that is the way that they are set up because they won't import otherwise. So take your spreadsheet cut and paste back into the editor. It will review and process, and it'll show you what's new, what's been updated, deleted, or skipped. You can hit finish, and then it'll go ahead and it'll upload everything into the editor. Now what I've done is actually uploaded the wrong thing, so I wanna go back up to sync changes, the lower half of the button, and I want to restore the account. This is probably one of the most important buttons that you will use. Um, just in case you make a mistake on your upload. It will go ahead and re-download the account to its original status before you started optimizing. And you want to make sure that the status on your sync progression bar says successful. Once that's been done, you can see if you go back to the all view button that everything is the way that it was before I uploaded anything into the account. If you hit the change of summary, it's going to show you again what your total items are, what you've changed. You can import via this button from Google, Yahoo, AdCenter, or your own spreadsheet. And one of the most important things you can do also is to export. You want to get the entire account. You don't really need location targeting or negatives. Um, and you want to export to a Excel spreadsheet. Some other buttons to keep in mind is the account list. You can see um, if you have sub accounts, what everything is looking like, if the status is active or paused, just on a quick snapshot. The manage button is actually just a similar set of tools that you actually have on the first page of the homepage. Negatives is a very cool new tool. The wizard will let you move your negatives for our different um, campaign levels and ad group levels and become more granular with that. You can also go to account preferences, campaign properties, ad group properties. The research tab is wonderful. It's like the keyword tool in Google. Um, you can get extracted keywords, similar keywords, all sorts of things. It's like an SQR and a keyword tool all rolled into one. Also, on the home page, you can um, change things one at a time if you need to down at the bottom in that part, part of the editor. One of my favorite things to do is actually do bulk um, bid changes if I'm going to increase everything by a percentage or an amount. This is really helpful if you do explicit bidding um, in your Bing accounts. So I've gone ahead and I've changed these three keywords. Um, I've bid them up 5% and it will show in the editor. 
And then you want to go up and you want to sync your changes when you're done. It will show you that I have changed one item. And again, we're looking for that successful status at the end of the upload. And it's successful. When you're done with everything, you want to make sure that you exit the desktop. And you are all done and you've had a successful upload. Thanks for watching.